I think in the early stage, we, we kind of treat China as a, as a sales market. Up to now, we, uh, we have big presence in China. We have uh, over 12 uh, wholly owned manufacturing facilities, uh, factories. We have a couple of joint ventures in China, eight R&D teams. And we want to uh, really engage China market, uh, not just as a sales focus, but more on, uh, I would say, a holistic view, a long-term approach. Some of the uh, operating companies uh, have started very early in China. So in 1990s, when China was just right uh, at the beginning of the opening up and the reform, we are fortunate to see and witness China's uh, economic growth over the last 30, 40 years. So over that period of time, I think especially at the early stage, I think China's growth was uh, primarily based on labor-intensive uh, industries. Uh, there are probably sometimes at the, even at the expense of the environmental uh, protection and also uh, uh, primarily export a lot of uh, productions to overseas. And that model is no longer uh, sustainable for China. So for the last, I would say, uh, five to ten years, China has been upgrading the industry and also uh, driven the domestic uh, demand, domestic uh, consumption for the economy. But most importantly, we think China needs to um, the focus on technology and innovation, because that really defines the future. So Danaher is a world-leading uh, science and technology company, and we focus a lot on innovation. And we wanted to plan our capability in China and design products for unique China AMA needs. So we feel very good about that position, and we think um, the structure change uh, of China's economy will release a lot of uh, opportunity for us, and uh, which means uh, enormous growth potential for Danaher. So last year, we, uh, we have participated a couple of uh, China's national level events. So the, the China import, um, International Import Expo, CIIE, in Shanghai. And those message China government developed, uh, delivered to uh, international community about uh, uh, open market uh, to foreign investments, multinational trade uh, globally, a uh, very strong and positive message, which gives us a lot of confidence to further invest in China. And uh, there's a couple of very positive changes. And it lowers down the, the barrier for entry. So I think it gives uh, just enough uh, uh, confidence for, for the foreign investors. On the other hand, we have seen the, uh, you know, the law actually talk about um, the equal and the fair treatment of a domestic company and the foreign companies. I think this is important. And we think the environment uh, we, need, uh, we want to operate in needs to be fair, transparent. And we want to have the opportunity to be treated equally. We actually believe that technology has no national boundary and it shouldn't be. So for example, we have a fleet of our uh, flow cytometry products was designed and made in China. And we, today we export and sell to globally, including U.S. With the uh, next couple of years, um, our position in China to develop the capability of innovation, we believe um, uh, Danaher can leverage China's uh, uh, center of excellence for product development, for innovation, uh, which can benefit our other market outside China. Um, so in the gro global healthcare market, IVD is a very important part. It's very critical uh, technology that provides the disease um, diagnosis, uh, prognosis, and the prevention. Uh, China has been um, making a lot of improvements on healthcare, right? It's providing much better medical insurance coverage um, in a very quick pace uh, for, for Chinese uh, population, and also improve the quality of the healthcare. So a lot of progress has been done. But if you look at the last decade, we think China is still at the very early stage of that uh, IVD industry development. Um, you know, we look at those numbers, I think 2017, China's IVD industry is only about 5% of global IVD industry. And that's not the, uh, in proportion to China's population and the GDP uh, globally. So we think there's a, there's a room to, to grow. On average, a Chinese spend a year roughly about four U.S. dollars on IVD-related uh, tests. 
Uh, if you look at the uh, more developed countries, the number is 25. Just given that perspective, we know China has tremendous of uh, growth potential already. Mm -hmm.